multiplying decimals by powers of 10. As we learned earlier, to multiply a whole number by a power of 10, the rule is to add as many zeros to the right of the number as that power. But what if we want to multiply a number that has both a whole number part and a decimal part? For example, what is the result of multiplying 1 and 25 hundredths by 10 to the power 1? If we apply the same rule as in whole numbers and simply add a zero to the right end of the number, we won't get the correct answer. This is because 1 and 25 hundredths is the same as 1 and 250 thousandths. The zero at the end represents no value. So, we need to try something else. Maybe we can try multiplying the whole number part by 10 and the decimal part by 10 and observe what happens. We begin with the whole number part, which is 1, multiplying it by 10, gives us 10. For the decimal part, we multiply each decimal by 10. 2 tenths times 10 gives us 20 tenths, and that equals 2 wholes, so we get a 2. The next decimal is 5 hundredths. Multiplying it by 10 gives us 50 hundredths, or 5 tenths. So, adding all the numbers together gives us 12 and 5 tenths. What happened here? Remember that as we learned earlier, a digit in one place represents a value that is 10 times greater than the value it represents in the place to its right. So, let us look at a place value chart for the numbers we have. 1 became 10, which means it moved from the 1's place to the tens place, and two tenths became two. So it moved from the tenths place to the ones place, while five hundredths became five tenths, which means it moved from the hundredths place to the tenths place. In other words, each digit moved one place to the left. Also, we can view this simply as a movement of the decimal point, one place to the right in the original number.